the Lord been good to me. Do down to the year, you know the Lord been good to me. You know the Lord he been good to me. Say it again. Down to the years, you know the Lord been good to me. The war down to the years, you know the Lord been good to me. War down to the years, you know the Lord been good to me. You know the Lord has been good to me. Here's another thing. He took my feet out of the mire clay. You know the Lord has been good to me. The war, he took my feet out of the mire clay. The Lord been good to me. Whoa, He took my feet out the miry clay. You know the Lord been good to me. Whoa, the Lord He been good to me. Let's say it one more time. I sit and down through the years. Do you know the Lord been good to me? To oh, down to the years, you know the Lord been good to me. You know down to the years, you know the Lord been good to me. You know the Lord. Been good to me. It's again before you and in your presence that we bow the call on His holy and righteous name. Lord, we come thanking you for life, for health, and for strength, for being so good and so good. Lifting up the song, right? It said, Down through the years, the Lord been good to me.
do all I can for my Lord. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna shout all I can for my Lord. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna shout all I can for my Lord. Well, I'm gonna shout all I can until I can't shout no more. Well, I'm gonna shout all I can for my Lord. Well, I'm gonna pray all for my Lord Well I'm gonna pray all I can for my Lord Well I'm gonna pray all I can until I before you on bending knees this morning just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody this morning we know you look high and you sit high and you look low let's touch each one of us one by one and name by name this morning Heavenly Father let's lift us up where we may be weak Heavenly Father renewing us a clean spirit Heavenly Father we know you can uh, keep us in the palm of your hands this morning, Heavenly Father. And, and for that, we say thank you. Thank just for you. being so good to us. If I had a thousand tongues this morning, I couldn't thank you enough this morning, Heavenly Father. But the Bible say if you got faith just as big as a mustard seed, that you will be in the midst, Heavenly Father. And for that, we say thank you for being so good to us. Let's look at each one of our families this morning, Heavenly Father. They may be sick. Uh, pick them up this morning, Heavenly Father. Watch over our pastor this morning, Heavenly Father. Let's keep watch over First Lady this morning, Heavenly Father. Let's pick them up on high this morning, Heavenly Father. Renewing them a clean spirit, Heavenly Father, like we know you can. Let's go around the room once again and touch each one, one by one, and name by name, Heavenly Father. We know you got all power in your hands. And we can do all things through Christ that strengthened us this morning, Heavenly Father. And for that, we say thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Go into the hospitals. Touch the ones that might be sick this morning, Heavenly Father. Go into the jail houses this morning, Heavenly Father. Let's go into the government this morning, Heavenly Father, and touch them with your finger of love this morning, Heavenly Father. And once we've done all we can do down here, give us a home somewhere in your kingdom. We can praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Like this, I need the Lord to help me. Oh, yeah, like this, oh Lord, in a world like this, in a world. Yeah, 
Praise the Lord, everybody. Good time in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. 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 You can find it in the Word of God. Do you 
know one thing. It's in the Word. It's in the Word of God. It's in the Word. Whatever you need. It's in the Word. You can find it it's in the Word of God. It's in the Word. Somebody. It's in the Word. Looking for a job. It's in the Word. And somebody. It's in the Word. Looking for peace. It's in the Word. If you want some joy. It's in the Word. If you yeah, want some joy, it's in the word. Look in Nehemiah, it's in the word. Eighth chapter, it's in the word. So the joy of the Lord, it's in the word. Heals my spirit, it's in the word. Is it anybody here? It's in the word. Looking yeah, for a way, it's in the word. Don't look no further, it's in the word. Then the yeah, yeah, it's the in the way. Jesus said, I am the way. It's in the way. The truth and the light. It's in the way. No man come to the Father. It's in the way. If they come by me. It's in the way. Dead, whatever. Dead to need. I know you can find it in the word of God. That you need, I know you can find it in the Word of God. You can find joy, peace, relief, relief from a troubled heart. Find it, find it in the Word of God. Lift up your hands and say, yeah. find it in the Word of God. Whatever you need, you can find it in the Word of God. I love to call on the name of Jesus, Jesus. I love to call on the name of Jesus, Jesus. I love to call on the name of Jesus, Jesus. I love, I love to call on the name. Lord, I love, I love to call on the name of the Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Church, I love, I love to call the name of the Lord. I love, I love to call on the name of the Lord. There is healing in the name Jesus. Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. So much healing in the name of Jesus. I love, I love the name of the Lord. Church, I love, I love the name of the Lord. Now there is peace in the name Jesus. There is peace, he all is in the name of Jesus. There is peace in the name of Jesus. I love, I love yeah, the name of the Lord. I love, I love to call on the name of the Lord. 
Now there is love in the name Jesus. Jesus. There is love, y'all, is in the name of Jesus. There is love in the name of Jesus. I love, I love the call. Get in trouble, you know what I do? I call him Paul Jesus. 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 When I get lonely, Paul Jesus. I call him Paul Jesus. When I get weary, Paul Jesus. I call him Paul Jesus. Better get in there, Paul Jesus. I call him Paul Jesus. When I get sick, y'all, Paul Jesus. I call him Paul Jesus. I get in trouble, Paul Jesus. I call him Paul Jesus. I call on Jesus, Paul Jesus. I call on him, Paul Jesus. I call on Jesus, Paul Jesus. I call on him, Paul Jesus. Oh, when I get lonely, Paul Jesus. I call on Jesus, Paul Jesus. Oh, when I get sick, y'all, Paul Jesus. I call on him, Paul Jesus. When I get in trouble, Paul Jesus. But children won't act right, y'all. Oh, Jesus. I, 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 I call on oh, him, Paul oh, Jesus. I can't find a friend, y'all. Oh, Jesus. I, 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 I call on oh, him, Paul oh, Jesus. I call on Jesus, Paul oh, Jesus. I call him, Paul oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, I call him, Paul oh, Jesus. I call him Paul Jesus, but my friend mistreat me. Paul Jesus, I call on Jesus. Paul Jesus, when I get in trouble. Paul Jesus, I call on Jesus. Paul Jesus, when I get in trouble. Paul Jesus, I call on Jesus. Paul Jesus, call him Paul Jesus. I call him Paul G. Have you ever called him Paul G? Have you ever called him Paul G? Yeah, Paul G. Yeah, Paul G. I love to call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, I love to call. On the name of Jesus, Jesus, love to God. On the name of Jesus, Jesus, I love, I love to call on the name of the Lord. I love, I love to call on the name of the Lord. Jesus, I call him in the morning, late at night, oh, when I'm lonely, I call Jesus, call him, I call him early in the morning, when you stand on your feet. Late at night, I call Jesus. I call Jesus. And I get a witness. I call Jesus. And I get a witness. I call Jesus. At 
to be praised. Can I get a witness? I say, can I get a witness? He's worthy to be praised. Now we're going to thank you, Mel Chorus, for those to selection. How many know whatever you need? It's in the word. But in order to know that, you got to read it. Don't take what I say. Read it for yourself. I love to call on the name of Jesus. Thank you, Mel Chorus, for those two selections. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have Deacon Davis to come with our morning scripture. Good morning, church. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Uh, our scripture will be coming from John, very familiar passage of scripture. John chapter 1, verse 1 through 5. That's John chapter 1. Verse 1 through 5. Amen. All that have it say amen. amen. John chapter 1, verse 1. Read as follows. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Verse 4, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Verse 5, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and the doers of his word. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the word. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Davis, because we know that the grass withered and the flower is going to fade. But the word of God is going to last. It's going to stand forever. Amen. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Singing, oh, of Jesus. Everybody, oh, the blood of Jesus that washes white as snow. Everybody, oh, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, 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 the blood of Jesus, it was, it white as snow. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, 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 the blood of Jesus, everybody, oh, the blood of Jesus, come on, man, of course. It was it white as snow. Oh, tell me, can wash my sins away? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious, precious is the flow oh, that washes white as snow. Oh, no other fun I know. Oh, nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh the blood of Jesus. Oh. The blood of Jesus. Everybody. Oh, the blood of Jesus. That washes 
white as snow. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood. Oh, oh the blood. Davis for the scripture and we're gonna get ready for our offering tithe and offering but maybe we'll do our announcements first let's do our announcement first amen if anyone have an announcement that they need to make today and while and while we're doing that you can get your tithe and offering together amen and the male chorus you could get ready to um give us a selection after
keep those announcements in mind. Amen? Amen. Now we are ready for our tithe and offering. The ushers will direct you, and uh, the male chorus is going to give us another selection. Amen? Joe got one. All right, all right.
he will do it. Amen. Amen. Let me see before the y'all ready for the word? Amen. Well, just before the word come, I'm going to see if I can just put a little smile All right. on your face because some have been smiled since they came in. All right, now. Amen. But we know that it's good for you to smile. Amen. I know Miss Eloise is going to laugh. Amen. So I don't have to worry about her. It doesn't matter what I say. She smiles. Right. Well, my uh, two-year-old grandbaby, well. I have been trying to get her to say grandma for the longest, but she wouldn't say it. But then all of a sudden, last week, she said it. All right. I told her she did something wrong, and I said, I'm sorry, Grandma. She said, I'm sorry, Grandma. <laughs> I said, okay. And then um, I, gave her, um, I gave her something, and she said, thank you, Grandma. And I said, okay, you're doing good. And she normally, she usually called the pastor Papa. So when the pastor came upstairs, she put a big smile on her face. And she said, hey, Grandma. <laughs> and I said, I said, no, that's Papa. And she said, Grandma, I said, Lord, I done got her confused now. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Amen. Amen. You know, it's good to smile. And we should practice every day to put a smile on someone's face. We, we really should. Because when they smile, right. you're going to smile. Right, amen? Amen. Amen. Right. amen. Amen. Sometimes the pastor say things, and he was, uh, he watched MSNBC, and uh, Joy didn't come on this week, but Ari or whatever his name was on, and he was watching, and he looked up, and he said, what is Ari doing on? And I'm like, why can't he be on? He said, Joy's supposed to be on. I said, well, can't he take Joy praise? And he realized what he was saying. All he did was burst out laughing. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm like, okay, he can, he can take her place. Amen? Amen. But anyway, it's time for the word of God. Amen. Is that all right, little Amen. Steve? Did I do all right? Oh, all right. He, he said I did good. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Point your hands towards the pastor. And say, Lord Jesus, bless this man of God as he come and preach and teach your word. We ask this. In the, in the name of the Father, the, Father, the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Say, preach, preach pastor, pastor, preach. Preach, preach pastor, pastor, preach. Now put your hands together and receive it after the meal course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Made up in my mind Long time ago For the Lord I'll stand Made up in my mind long time ago. Oh, yeah. For the Lord, I'll stand. Say Help me about say, about oh, stand. I'll stand for Jesus. Oh, yeah. Stand. For the Lord, yes, I will. For the Lord. I'll stand. Whoa, stand. Yes, I stand. stand. Yes, I stand. For the Lord, for the I stand. Lord, I 
I'll stand. Listen. Say, Falco. Do me wrong. I go on oh, yeah. for, the for the Lord. I'll stand. Right, Talk about me. Yeah. Much as you please. Yeah. For, the for the Lord. I'll stand. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Somebody for the Lord. For the Lord. Yes, I will. I'll stand. Can I say it again? Say it. Oh, stand. Yes, I'll stand. stand. For the Lord. Yes, I will. For the Lord. I'll stand. Listen. Do me wrong. Yeah. I'll go on yes, no, yes, for the Lord. For the Lord yeah. I'll stand. That's all right, Malcolm. That's all right. Talk about me. Yeah. Much as you please. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. But for the Lord, for the Lord, for the Lord. I'll stand. Yeah. Help me say. Stand. Yes, I will. Stand. For the Lord, I stand. For, For the Lord, I'll stand. Oh, stand. Yes, I'll stand. I'll stand, I'll stand on the mountain town. I'll stand in the valley low. Yeah, I'll stand. You can talk about me. Yeah, I'll stand. I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. You can scandalize my name. I'll stand. I'll stand for the Lord. Yeah, I'll stand. Have I got a witness in the house today? I'll stand. Will you raise your hand and say I'll stand? I'll stand. On the mountain time, yeah. I'll stand. In the valley low. I'll stand. When the doctor turns and walk away, I'll stand, I'll stand for Jesus. Yeah. I'll, stand. I'll stand, yeah. Oh, yeah. I stand for the Lord. Yeah, I stand. I stand. Yeah, I stand. for Jesus. Yeah, I stand. I stand. I stand. I stand. for Jesus. Yeah, I stand. Yeah, I stand for Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. Have I got a witness? Have I got a witness today? Oh, yes. Have I got a witness? Have I got a witness today? I'll stand. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'll stand for the Lord. I'll stand. You can do me wrong. Oh yes. I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. You can scandalize my name. Oh yes. I'll stand for the Lord. I'll stand. I'll stand for Jesus. 
I'll stand. I'll stand. I'll stand. Oh, yes. Can you take somebody by the hand right now? Tell them I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. I'll stand for Jesus. Oh, yes. I'll stand for the Lord. Ooh, I'll stand. I'll stand. I'll stand. Ooh, oh, yes. I'll stand. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'll stand for the Lord. I'll stand. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'll stand for Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh yes. I'll stand. I'll stand, I'll stand. You can scandalize my name. You can talk about me. You can do me wrong. When my money gets funny, my chain gets strained. When sickness invade my body. I'll stand for Jesus. I'll stand. I wonder who or stand with me today. Oh, yes. Can I get anybody to stand with me today? I'll stand. Can I get somebody to stand with me today? Oh, yes. Is there anybody here that will stand for Jesus? Is there anybody here that will stand for Jesus? Oh, yes. Is there anybody here will stand for Jesus? Oh, yes. stand. I'll stand, I'll stand. Oh, yes. I'll stand, I'll stand, I'll stand. I'll stand, I'll stand, I'll stand. I'll stand, I'll stand, I'll stand. Play, play, play. Play it, musician, play it. I'll stand. Oh, yes. Ooh. Stand, 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 stand. Oh, yes. Stand, 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 stand. Stand, 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 stand. Stand, 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 stand. Stand for Jesus. Stand for Jesus. Stand for Jesus. Oh, yes. I'll stand. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Is there anybody here that will stand for Jesus? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me gain my composure. Amen. I feel like just taking off running right about now. Amen. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. This joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. We give, we give honor to God today for his, his many blessings. Amen. He thanks Houston to our deacons, male chorus, musicians, 
Amen. To all of you that make this CD today, as well as our brothers and sisters viewing us via Facebook, YouTube, social media. Amen. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Uh, I want you to go with me. I'm going to try to be as brief as I possibly can, but I was encouraged on last Sunday to stop rushing. Just go ahead and preach. Anybody want to leave, they'll leave. Anybody want to stay, they'll stay. Amen. Amen. From the book of St. Mark. Very familiar passage of scripture. I am honored and blessed and just thank God for seeing our brother Bobby. Amen. Amen. Brother Bobby, it's so good to see you. Amen. Amen. I was just telling somebody last week, I'm so used to, as soon as we pull up, your car sitting in the corner waiting on us to get here. Amen. And to all of you that make us make this sitting this morning, very familiar pastor scripture from the book of St. Mark, chapter number 5, verse number 25. Matthew chapter 5, verse number 25. And a certain... Put some, put some peepers on. Yeah. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. And had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, All right. I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, who touch my clothes? All right. Verse 31, and his disciples said unto him, thou seest the multitude thronging thee and sayest thou who touched me? Verse 32, and he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, mm -hmm. thy faith mm -hmm. had made mm -hmm. thee whole. All right. Go in peace and be whole of thy place. I want you to get close to somebody and get an attitude. Cop an attitude. Look at them with a straight up attitude. And I want you to repeat to them just like you would if you were mad at somebody. I want you to say to them, I've had enough. Tell somebody else, I've had enough. I've, I've had enough. I've had enough. Hmm. Anybody here been to the point to where you just flat out said enough is enough. This stuff got to end. Anybody here ever got sick and tired of being sick and tired? To the point to where, don't mean this personal, 
But if you want to take it personal, that's fine with me. Right. You get to the point, Sister Eloise, that some people you just don't want to see coming. There are some days, Brother Nate, you just don't want to get out of bed. And then when it's time to go back to bed, you just don't want to go back. Circumstances, trials, problems. Yes. And people sometimes make you feel I've had enough. Ever had one of them days where it seemed like nothing going right? I mean, I mean, just absolutely nothing. See, uh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm gonna use her this morning. She always uses me, you know. Uh, she she got out of we got out of uh, Sunday school and she said, "Will you call my phone? Cause I done lost my phone." And I called her phone and guess where her phone was at? In a pocketbook. Those are sometimes the days to where it seemed like the very thing you just 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 should have been just right there. It's right there. You just. Don't see it. I, I, I can even use myself. I, I, I put on this suit that's nice. I think it's nice. I dug in the closet by the price to get a pair of shoes to match. Got to the church and I saw some dust on my shoes and went to dust the dust off the shoes and all the shoes start peeling. And I know, there ain't no shoes in there in the car in the office to change. So uh, I see you looking, Deacon Tally. You see it, don't you? It's just it's just one of them days to where it seems like nothing seems to go right, and you just want to throw your hands up and say, "I had enough." <laughs> We've all had them days. Sister McDermott, when we're down in the dumps, we get depressed. Come on. Somebody said, well, I've never been depressed. Well, amen. You may not have been depressed, but you was oppressed. We don't like the way things going. Life is not always a load of fun. And some men are fair person that you used to make it last. All of a sudden, they look at you like you're nasty. Seem like your marriage is going south. <laughs> and I think, I think today all of us can relate to what this woman was going through. A noted theological teacher at the Theological Center in Atlanta said this. True change is when you reach a point where change is not voluntary but mandatory. Can I, can, can, can I say that again? True change is not when you reach a point where change is voluntary but mandatory. It comes a time in your life that you got to say, I'm not going to change because I want a change of scenery. But it's mandatory. If I am to move forward with my life, I got to make some changes. Sometimes the changes you got to make involve your family. Boy, that didn't came that didn't came back at me. But don't throw it back up here. God gave it to me. Give you. I'm giving it. To you. Don't throw. It. Each of us should reach a point in our journey with God that something has to change. Every one of us sitting here this morning need to reach a point in our spiritual journey that something has to change. 
When you've gone as far as you can go, and you can't go any farther. When you're taking all you can take, and you can't take no more. You have to make a conscious, cognitive decision to stand to your feet in the midst of what you're going through, and you'll throw your hands up in anger, in dismay, and say, I've had enough. Maybe I'm the only one animated enough in here to want to throw my fists up in the air and say, I've had enough. There comes a time when you have to take a stand and just know you have taken a stand for what's right because you can't continue the direction you're going any longer. Stay with me. I'll, 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 I'll get to Jill Scott. Anybody know who Jill Scott is? That, 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 uh, uh, what you want to call a secular singer, love song writer? She was dating this man. She was so deeply in love with him. Hey Amen. She's gained a little weight. She got a little, she got a few love handles. And he started cutting out when he found him a little smooth, skinny woman. Jill Scott woke up one morning and she wrote a song and said, you can do bad by yourself. Jill Scott lost about 86 pounds. Amen. Stepped out looking like Beyonce in a bikini and said, now I'm ready to move forward with my life. You have to make a decision that sometimes people you hang with is holding you back. Oh, y'all ain't going to like me this morning. Tyler Perry got tired of sleeping out of his trunk of his car and being homeless. And where is he at now? One of the richest black men in America. Because Tyler Perry said, I've had enough. There comes a time when you have to make up your mind. I can't go down this road forever. Come on, somebody. I, I, I'm, I'm angry with myself. I'm angry with people. I mean, I, I, I repeated this this morning. We were talking about something. I said, repeat it again this morning. We often always saying, why is this happening to me? It's not happening to you. It's happening because of you. And I submit to you, my church family, this morning, as I stand before you on this divine assignment from God to tell you, there are people parked on every pew in this church that falls in one or two categories. Are you with me? Now, let's see which category you in. You either in a category you've seen a change since you met Jesus Christ, and you can only say that a change has come over you, and you will never be the same. Are you in this category, the category of this woman in our story? You are struggling, trying to get through, trying to get back, and can't get there because, amen, everything you tried failed. In our text this morning, we're going to find out when you've had enough, you got to make progress. How do you know? How do you know? When you've had enough. How, how do you know that I've reached a point? Something got to change. How do you know that the direction I'm going now just not working? How do you know that I need to change some things about me? Come on. I, I, a lot of times we're waiting on God to come down and change everything for us. I, I, I got news for you this morning. God not going to change everything. Because I believe my scripture tells me, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God and the very God of peace will do what? Sanctify your holy. There are some things you got to do. Let's look at our text this morning. As we look at St. Mark, book of St. Mark, the gospel of Mark. We, we find that to be the second, the second book in the New Testament. But in actuality, it's really the first gospel that was written. 
Mark is the first one in the New Testament because uh, Matthew is the first book in the New Testament because Matthew connects us to the beginning. But Mark brings about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Can I get a witness? In the book of Mark, we find out starting in the very first chapter of Mark, we find out Jesus is a devil-busting <laughs> deliverer. When you got a problem, you got to find somebody that can help you. Boy, it's kind of kind of cold in here this morning. Let me just try to heat it up a little bit. Amen. And usually when the message is hard to get out, <laughs> it meant for somebody. Might be just for me. Here he is now. As Matthew Mark opens, we find Jesus and the disciples out on the sea. And they get caught up in a storm. Amen. I heard Brother Bruce say last Sunday in his testimony, sometimes you're in a storm and don't even know it. Come on, somebody. Somebody in here in a storm. Jesus is out on the sea with his disciple, and a storm comes up. Can I get a witness? Jesus down on the bottom of the ship getting some rest. And they up on the top of the ship, amen, threatened because of a storm. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes storms make us fret. They went and woke up Jesus, and Jesus came and said, Peace, be still. Got off the ship, started down the journey. He met a man named Jarius. Can I get a witness? And said, Jarius said, my daughter is dead. Jesus, right in the middle of the storm, after the storm, he raised Lazarus' daughter from the dead. Come on, somebody. But we come on up, and as he's doing all these things, he gets in a situation, he meets a woman that says, I've had enough. Her testimony, this woman's testimony, if I could but touch. The hem of his garment. I don't need him to lay hands on me. I don't need him to bless me. I don't need him, amen, to prophesy to me. All I need to do is get close enough to touch his garment. Just close enough to touch his garment. Jesus doesn't come through the storm. Ray Lazarus daughter, Zarius daughter. Moving on down, he gets in a crowd. And the crowd began to throng around Jesus. And the crowd was so thick. But in the middle of the crowd, there was a little woman with an issue of blood. Now let's go back and see what that issue did to her according to Jewish tradition. When a woman had an issue of blood, she was unclean. She couldn't mingle with nobody. She couldn't even hold her own baby. She couldn't love with her husband. For society considered her to be unclean. Many times in our life, man, we are considered unclean because of situations we have in our lives. Amen. We are in a predicament to where, amen, no matter how good you are, somebody always putting you down. Amen. No matter how hard you try, somebody always saying you're never going to make it. Man, this woman broke with tradition because tradition was she had no business out in the public. But this woman said to herself, I had enough. Amen. 
I'm in a predicament now to where live or die, sink or swim, I need help from the Lord. Amen. She made her way to Jesus to get her help from him. Amen. This woman was in desperate need uh, of deliverance. Uh, amen. This is a subject here that we seem to look over and don't try to talk about. But there are so many people in our midst today that are in desperate need for a touch from the Lord. Amen. Your need may not be the same as my need. Uh, amen. Your want may not be the same as my want, but we all need a touch from the Lord. Uh, yes. Uh, and I read in the Bible today, this woman made her way uh, and he pressed her way uh, through the crowd uh, just to get to Jesus. Uh, the first thing you have to do when you make up in your mind, I've had enough. You got to decide which way will you go. Will you stay in the same condition or will you seek help from the only one that can give you help? Yes, there's no need for me. Uh, to run to somebody uh, that's bound uh, like I am uh, to try to get help. Uh, yes, uh, the Bible said, uh, if the blind lead the blind, uh, they both going to fall uh, into the ditch. Uh, yes, uh, if I'm broke uh, and you broke, uh, neither one of us uh, can lend the other one uh, any money. Uh, yes, uh, if you bound uh, and I'm bound, uh, they're just two bound folks. Uh, yes, uh, but if I want to get free uh, from what has me bound, I need to make my way uh, to the only one uh, that can set me free. Uh, yes, uh, here she is now. Here she is now, uh, making her way uh, down uh, the dusty streets. Uh, here she is now, uh, with a condition in her body uh, that made her uh, unclean. Uh, to society. Here she is now. Uh, can you just see uh, in your mind uh, as she makes her way uh, people stepping back uh, and said, there goes uh, that nasty woman. Uh, yes. Uh, that's the way people treat you uh, when you're trying to get to Jesus. Uh, that's the way people treat you uh, when you're trying uh, to get delivered. Uh, yes, I know, I know, I know. Uh, yes, uh, it ain't always easy uh, to get out the ordinary uh, and change uh, your direction. Uh, yes, uh, but when you start changing who you are, uh, people seem to think uh, something is wrong with you. Uh, but when you make up your mind, I've had enough uh, of being sick and tired, uh, of being sick and tired. Uh, I've had enough uh, of waking up every morning, uh, being sick in my body. Uh, I've had enough, uh, yes, uh, of running out of all the necessary things. Uh, to get me through life. Uh, look what Jesus did uh, when the woman uh, pressed her way uh, through the crowd uh, and she touched the hem of his garment. Uh, the Bible said uh, Jesus turned around uh, and said somebody touch me. Uh, yes. Uh, look at here y'all. Uh, the vain disciples uh, that were walking with him uh, did not understand uh, what Jesus was saying. Uh, I can hear Peter say, uh, Jesus, uh, all these folks out here, 
and you talking about somebody touch me but you got to realize that something in Jesus he knows when you've had enough something about Jesus he knows when you reach your limit something about Jesus he knows when you're ready for a change yes can I have a few more minutes to try to deliver this little message this morning. Jesus turned around and said, somebody touch me. Yes. The disciples said, all these folks out here, and you talking about somebody touch me. Yes. You know what I'm glad about? I can be in the middle uh, of a dead church. Uh, I can be in the middle uh, of a dried up church. Uh, I can be in the middle uh, of people don't want to praise God. Uh, yes. Uh, but something about the Holy Ghost uh, I don't understand. Uh, but I got it. Uh, yes. Uh, and when he turned around he said to the disciples, uh, you talking about a natural touch. Uh, I'm talking about a spiritual touch. Uh, I perceive uh, that whoever touched me, uh, but uh, yes, uh, has gone out of my body. Uh, yes. Uh, what do you mean, Jesus? Uh, virtue uh, has gone out of you. Uh, when you've had enough, uh, you got to make your way uh, down uh, to Jesus. Uh, when you've had enough, uh, you got to make your way uh, to the altar of the Lord. Uh, when, 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 when. Uh, when, 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 when uh, you had enough, uh, you got to throw up your hands uh, and say, God, uh, I yield my body uh, to you today. Uh, when, 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 uh, when you had enough, uh, you got to press, uh, yeah, uh, toward the mark uh, of the high calling, uh, which is in Christ Jesus. Uh, when, 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 when you've had enough, uh, no matter what people say, uh, you will say to yourself, uh, I got to get to Jesus, uh, live or die, uh, sink or swim, uh, I got to make my way uh, to the Lord, uh, yeah. And when, uh, when he turned around, uh, he saw her uh, and he spoke the words uh, of deliverance uh, to that woman. Uh, yes, uh, let me tell you something, uh, what the Lord will do. Uh, when you've had enough, uh, he takes a dope head uh, and makes him a deacon. Uh, yes, uh, he takes a stripper uh, and makes her a praise dancer. Uh, when you've had enough. Uh, yeah, uh, somebody looked at that dipper uh, and said, she sure can dance uh, for the Lord. Uh, all you can say, uh, she's had enough practice uh, dancing, uh, but when gone, uh, but when the Lord uh, turned things around, uh, you can never uh, reach his point uh, in your line. Uh, to be delivered uh, until you face the facts uh, and just cry out uh, in your situation. Uh, I've had enough. Uh, I've had enough. Uh, sometime up, uh, sometime down. Uh, I've uh, had enough. Uh, yes, uh, I've had enough. Uh, worry. Uh, and you get ready, uh, yes, uh, amen, uh, to praise God. Uh, had enough negative people uh, and need a new circle of people. Uh, had enough of being broke uh, and ready to get paid. Uh, had enough of being sick uh, and ready to get well. Uh, had enough of foolishness uh, and ready to move forward. Uh, enough. Uh, somebody shot enough. Uh, somebody shot enough. Uh, shot. I've had enough. Uh, I've had enough. Uh, I've had enough. Yeah. I've had enough. Shake your finger. 
shake your finger at somebody and said, I've had enough. I've had enough. Let me tell you, when you had enough, and I'm getting ready to close now. Amen. You know how it is. I need two good closes. And then I get ready to close. Let me tell you something. When you had enough, this is what you find out about the God we serve. He's new one. He's too omnipresent uh, to be absent. Uh, he's too omnipotent uh, to be weak. Uh, he's too omniscient uh, to be dumb. Uh, he's too punctual uh, to be late. Uh, he's too exact uh, to be in error. Uh, he's too powerful uh, to be weak. Uh, he's too loving uh, not to care. Uh, can I get a witness today? Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, ain't he all right? Uh, the God I serve, uh, he's sweeter than honey, uh, madder than a mountain, uh, he wilder than a round, uh, he's straighter than a cross, uh, he clever uh, than a crystal, uh, he clearer uh, than a crystal, uh, he's so pure uh, that the air can't penetrate, uh, yes, uh, Tape can't measure him. Uh, water can't drown him. Uh, fire can't burn him. Uh, death can't kill him. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that love my Jesus? Uh, ain't he all right? Uh, ain't he all right? Uh, ain't he all right? Yeah. 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 And my last clothes. This is my last clothes. And I'm getting ready to take my seat. The God I serve. A. He's able. He's all in all. He's the Alpha. B. He's a bomb in Gilead. A bridge over troubled water. A baby born in Bethlehem. C. Uh, he's a carpenter, uh, a Christ child, uh, crucified on carry. Uh, D, uh, he's a doctor, uh, dietitian, uh, and a druggist. Uh, e, uh, he's everything. Uh, he's everlasting uh, all the way. Uh, the everlasting F, uh, he's a father uh, of the faithful. Uh, friend uh, for the friendless. Uh, G, uh, he's God gift from glory. H, uh, he's holding, uh, hallelujah, uh, to the highest. Uh, I, uh, he's Isaiah sheep. Uh, J, uh, just Jesus, uh, he's justice, uh, justification, uh, judge uh, and jury. Uh, K, uh, he's king of kings. Uh, L, uh, Lord of lords, uh, Lamb of God, uh, a leaning bone. Uh, M, uh, he's merciful, uh, he's mighty. Uh, N, uh, he's Noah's rainbow, uh, near my wall. Uh, Nicodemus, my school, uh, and he never uh, left me alone. Uh, oh, uh, he's omnipotent, uh, omnipresent, uh, he's omnipotent. Uh, and he's an amigo. Uh, yes, uh, P. Uh, he's powerful. Uh, Prince of Peace uh, in a time of trouble. Uh, Q. Uh, he's quicker than right now. Uh, R. Uh, he's ready, righteous, and revival. Uh, yes, uh, he's smooth, uh, satisfying, uh, and he sustains. Uh, T. Uh, he's a troubleshooter. Uh, he takes away. On trials, uh, you, uh, he's unusual, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, he was born of a virgin, uh, victim on Friday, uh, and won the victory uh, Sunday morning, uh, W, uh, if it work him, uh, he is, uh, he'll work for you. Uh, if he's weak, uh, worn or weary, uh, he's a well uh, full of water. Uh, X, uh, and this is where I had my problem, uh, but I got to realizing that uh, what is X? Uh, he got X ray eyes. Uh, he don't look at you, uh, but it looks in you. Uh, yes, uh, why? Uh, his yoke is easy uh, if you yield to him. Uh, he'll lead you uh, over yonder. Uh, yes, uh, here he are now. Uh, Z, uh, what is Z? Uh, he's Zebedal High Priest. Uh, 
Zechariah didn't guess that. He can bat an eye and lightning will zigzag across the sky. Ain't God all right? Ain't God all right? Ain't God all right? Somebody shout yes! Shout yes! Yes! Yeah. I've had enough. I've had enough. Is anybody here can say I've had enough? I've had enough. Hallelujah. My mind. Whew. My mind. Everybody's standing. Everyone's standing. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in. I will trust in the Lord until I die. Mm -hmm. I will trust the Lord. Perhaps there's somebody today in the service that feel you've had enough. You've gone as far as you can go. You've done the best you can on your own. And you need to turn it over to Jesus. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man will come unto me, I'll come in and sup with them. I'll be their God, and they shall be my people. If you're outside the ark of safety, we extend to you the invitation today. I'm going to trust the Lord. Listen. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to stay on. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. Till I die. Going to stay on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, stay on the battlefield. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. Now look at your neighbor and say, I've had enough. But I know where to get my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Amen. Now, I want to make a confession to the church. My confession is I don't know no other way. You can be five people in here or 500. I ain't going to change. I don't know no other way. I just got to obey God. Amen. Now am I human? And sometimes, yeah, sometimes I look at the congregation and I say to myself, see, why are you doing all that? They ain't paying you no attention no way. I'm just being honest, but I don't, I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it because God commissioned me to do what I do. In some way, somehow, nobody in here may didn't get this message right now, but it will sink in. Put it in your reservoir. You may need it one day. Put it in there. You may need it. Amen. I, 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 as we get ready to dismiss, I want to give God thanks for last Sunday I've been I've been testifying to people all week about the move of God doing doing holy communion I've been I've been doing communion participating in communion all my life 
that I've never witnessed an outpour of God on myself and in the presence of God's people like it was last Sunday. And I would I want to encourage uh, those that are on the camera, working the camera, going forward, do not, do not, do not turn the camera off during commission, com communion because we are people online that take communion with us. In South Carolina, Texas, uh, several out-of-state people, they wait for us to do communion. They do it with us. Amen. And so we try, try not to turn it off doing communion because we want to be a service to God's people everywhere. Amen. And on tomorrow night, Tomorrow night I'll be opening revival. Uh, tomorrow night at Bethesda Baptist Church in Austell, Georgia, be the the speaker for the opening of the revival. And and at this time I don't know what time it is. I don't know what it's six o'clock, seven o'clock. But he'll call me and tell me. Be praying for me. Amen. Be praying for you. Amen. Is there anybody here today, Amen, that need a special prayer? Deacon, Deacon Davis, Deacon Dave, anyone else need special prayer if you are stand, just stand right where you are. Stand right where you are. I promise God that I will not dismiss the service without looking at the needs of his people. Sometimes when we do open the doors of the church, sometimes people don't get exactly what they need because they feel that it's not the time. But right where you stand, right where you stand, whatever that need is, lift your faith up to heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said, ask and it shall be given. I'm asking for a special touch for those that have stood as well as those that did not stand but have a need. Into thine hand we commend our spirit. Have your perfect way. Let the Holy Ghost, let the anointing flow freely through this place. From row to row, pew to pew, standing nor sitting, choir stand, musician stand, pulpit, touch right now. One by one, name by name, individually need. God let virtue go out right now. Meet that need right now. We claim it. We call it done because you said so. I've had enough. Satan, step back away from God's people. Heal, deliver, and set free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It is so. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the people of God said, Amen. All right, standing to your feet. We're going home. Are you already standing? Amen. All right. Grab somebody by the hand and say, I'm moving forward in Christ. No turning back now. I'm going all the way with the Lord. Now the Lord dismiss us in peace. Bring us back in love. This way is in Jesus' name. Amen.